What up, y'all? It's your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, in the last video, we talked about Leah Hobbs versus Shakari Richardson. You guys can go back and watch that video. I want to talk a little bit, just a little bit about T.T. Terry and, uh, and Shakari Richardson. So, I'm going to try to make this a quicker video than the last one. So, uh, like I said, I recommend you guys go back and watch the Aaliyah Hobbs one. I kind of broke down the 100 meters more in that video. But I'm going to go over the times real quick right now. So we had Shelly Ann Frazier Price finishing in first with a 10.65. That was a new meet record, by the way, uh, to win the Diamond League Championship. Sharika Jackson was right behind her. It's been like that all season. The one two has been Shelly Ann Sharika or Elaine Thompson Hurrah, you know, in there sometimes, but Sharika Jackson got a 10.81. Marie Josie Tolu has shown consistency all season, has really held off everybody else for that third place finish. Um, from the Ivory Coast, a nice season from her. 10.91, she was the only other lady to finish under 11 flat. And the rest of the field was outside of the podium. Daryl Nader had the best showing with 11.02. Everybody else was over 11 flat. Uh, in this situation, Aaliyah House was like right dead behind her at 11.03. Great outing from Aaliyah House to get in the top five. T.T. Terry had a much better show than expected. I'm going to go over that in a second. 11.10, and Shakari Richardson at last with 11.13. Natasha Morrison um, in last place. And I want to um, actually salute somebody who actually did a prediction uh, in my comment section yesterday. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Just want to make sure I acknowledge this person because they did um, did a pretty good job in predicting this. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Arthur Gooding. Arthur Gooden. Let me let me go over him real quick. So Arthur Gooden um, predicted the exact how this is going to go. He said Sharika or Shelly will finish in first and second. He had them in both, you know, either or. He said Talu will come in third. So he got that right on the money as well. Aaliyah and Netta was like dead to rights fourth or fifth. Um, that was um, – Probably only thing, and he said TT and Shikari will finish six and seven, so he had it like the same way and stuff like that. That was very interesting. And uh, Natasha Morrison, he had an eighth, so even if Natasha was able to run this race, he would have had her in last. So, shout out to uh, Arthur Gooden on that prediction. But uh, let's talk real quick about TT Terry. TT Terry, great season. I think she will never forget this season, especially what happened on the relay. She won the Memphis race, um, and she just really elevated herself. I think, I think more Americans probably kind of, you know, kind of recognize her more than Leah Hobbs just because she was a part of that relay team with Abby Steiner, and Jenna Prandini, and and um, um, Melissa Jefferson. So um, she definitely remembered for that group, you know, and winning that Ed Murphy Classic. And what a showing here because she had kind of faded off a little bit since the Ed Murphy Classic. And um, she really came back to fight today, and she got sixth place over Shakari Richardson. Uh, very impressive uh, by a couple of tenths of a second, 11.10 uh, to 11.13. Those were the times, and uh, and it was an impressive race because T.T. Terry, I think, was leading Shakari throughout the race because I remember her and Netta was, like, neck and neck, and it didn't look like Netta was going to get in the fourth, and she got in the fourth at the last minute, setting Aaliyah House, who had four plays with the majority of the rat match, uh, set her back a little bit, and T.T. was, like, right in six the whole entire race, it looked like. So she was in full control, and uh, you got to wonder with Shakari, and I'm probably going to make a separate video about this uh, over the weekend about – is she starting to fade away as far as her potential and can she get back? Um, because I'm a little bit concerned right now that she might be fading off. Cause I seen a lot of track um, prodigies and stuff like that, who you think will regain uh, some of their, their, um, their form, their structure and all that. And will go back to being a world-class runner, but they just, they fall off and disappear. Um, that's why you got to give it to girls who like a Jenna Prandini, who's almost 30 years old, who came in, um, out of high school looking to be, uh, a good representative, but she has held on and, and has always finished like in the top three, top five. She's always been able to finish in that group and not look real bad. I think a lot of people are kind of really looking at Shikari right now. Like, damn, she's finishing bad in these races. Like. She's not even, like, hanging around where Leah Hobbs is right now, you know. And, and I think T.T. Terry losing to her, I think that hurts uh, Shikari Richardson quite a, quite a bit 
because it's like, damn, you couldn't even be T.T. Terry in this race. Like, um, you know, uh, and then get a decent time that's at least closer to Daryl Netta and Aaliyah Hobbs. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the whole narrative with Shakari Richardson, she was supposed to have been the one in 100 meters. I was supposed to have been neck and neck with the Jamaicans and, and try to uh, in their in their run of uh, dominance in 100 meters. But she's not going to be the American to do that. That's that's clearly looking like that's what it's going to be. We'll see how her um, training is in the off season. She has to get a little bit. I think she's gained some focus back. I, I don't think that's the issue right now. Um, I haven't really heard much from her, you know, really being distracted and stuff like that lately. Um, she seems to be a little bit more positive right now ever since she came back on the track. So I think that's I think that's a good sign. But let, but you got to wonder about her physical abilities. Can she get back in it? Um, because this was um, this is a little bit concerning, man. Especially if you're a hard, if you're a hardcore Chicago Richardson fan, you're probably sad as hell right now, man. You're not happy because you're like, damn, it, it, did she fall all the way off? You know, and we'll see. She's young, so that's why I'm not really. If she was like 30 or 32, like Delilah Muhammad, I will be putting a book on her. Like I would be like, yeah, you're done. Because I mean, you you at that point, you're not just fighting you know, your own abilities, you're fighting your age, which is always undefeated. Father time's undefeated. So once you start battling age, that's not going to be good. So at least Shakar is 10 years younger than Delilah Muhammad. So to really bounce back, I still want to see that race between her and Abby Steiner next season. I think Shakari should run in the indoor season. She's got some things to work on. Um, and and, and um, Shakari should definitely stick to the 200 as well um because i think she i think she has some some elements in there that are really good too um because i'm just not sure like she should be using 100 to be better at the 200 because i think her i think her future is really in 200 we're going to talk a little bit more about that i didn't mean to make this video that long man we're going to get this video a like man hit that like button for me share the video Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put it below. I, I've been appreciating y'all all, all summer with the comments, man. Y'all just don't know how, at, how much that means to me that y'all been actively participating in the comment section. And some of you have been regulars uh, in the sports media this summer. Steven, um, you know, Javier Ramirez, you know, people like that. Uh, King Dome and Jet Killer Music. It's a lot of y'all, man, that have been on here like almost every video. That I drop sometimes, so I appreciate all y'all. Even if I ain't mention your name, David Close. And by the way, um, if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. David Close, one of my donators this summer, the leader of the super thanks, but my leader in the cash app. In overall, as you guys can see, the sandies here is D A Secret Cure, who dropped that seventy dollar dono uh, early in the week, leading the first cash app uh, donation I got. So uh, salute to him. And it's simple. If y'all want to get on this list, drop a donation. I will be, uh, who, anybody who donates, especially those of you who donate a lot, I will definitely be, you will be in the running to get a cash prize next season. I'm definitely going to do something a little special for you guys next year um, and, and get you something. So I definitely appreciate my donators, man. But um, to end this video, man, uh, like I said, very sad situation to see this. Uh, from Shakari Richardson, but T.T. Terry, salute to her. Uh, I know that she's got to be feeling good today to beat Shakari Richardson um, and Aaliyah Hobbs as well. So those three American women didn't, compared to the, the other ladies, obviously not a good day for them, but, you know, overall as a group. But I think individually there were some good things to take out of this uh, for them, you know, because the times were really bad to me. You know, it just was, you know, they weren't anywhere close to the three top three ladies, you know, in that regard. But... Thank you guys for watching After News Delight.